Today in this video, we're going to be doing some civil FE exam review, and we're going to be focusing specifically on statics. So I have some practice problems for you all, and we got some clear solutions. So hope, hopefully this is going to be helpful for you. So I'm going to minimize me and make it to where you can see my screen. Okay. So normally before I um, start, I like to discuss exactly what we're going to be going through. So uh, if you aren't familiar, this is the FE um, handbook and I've scrolled down to the bottom to the civil section. And so today we're going to be focusing in on equivalent force systems. So if you missed my video on a resultants of force systems or any of these other topics, make sure you go back, check those out. I might go through every single topic on this channel. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if this is something that interests you. Um, and last thing before we get into it, um, very appreciative. We hit the, I think it was 300 subscribers today. So super exciting. You all have been reaching out to me um, and trying to get as much um, resources, get as much help to pass this FE as possible. So that's really my goal. So um, very excited. Um, thanks for helping the channel grow and pushing this out to more people. All right. So um, I have a practice problem for you all today. Um, it says a hundred pound a vertical force is applied to the end of a lever, which is attached to a shaft at O. All right. Determine the moment about O. And it also says for part B, uh, determine the horizontal force at A, which creates the same moment. All right. So uh, for beginners, I always like kind of just take a look at the problem and for me the first thing is like okay it's asking for moment and if you're straight out of school you might remember what moment is but i normally just kind of go through and search my fe handbook to see if i can get a formula um, or if i can use a formula and there's 94 different searches for moment so maybe i won't do that maybe we'll do statics there's only 18 for that, so I know I'm going to be uh, this problem. If I can use a formula, it's going to be coming from the static section. So this is why it's key to be familiar with your handbook. Okay, so I'm just searching through. Okay, statics is on page 107. Okay, statics. And if I scroll through statics, I see moments. Um, system of forces, which is exactly what we're covering. And from this um, it says a system of two forces that are equal in magnitude opposite in direction okay a moment is defined as the cross product of uh, the radius vector r and the force um, from a point uh, to the line of action of the force so basically moment is equal to force times distance um in in simple terms because clearly uh, that distance is a radius um, and whenever you do you have a cross product it refers to a force that is perpendicular so uh, the moment is when you have a force times a distance that is perpendicular to that force very important when you're trying to solve a problem like this okay so hopefully that gives you some context i'm going to make this smaller and let's start the problem so um find the mo determine the moment about o so as i'm looking at this problem i'm seeing okay i kind of got this it's like a i wouldn't call it a, a maybe a beam or something anyways um at o i see that 24 inches 
or two feet from that um, is point A, and there's a hundred pound load coming down on it. So the only thing I'm seeing is, um, and and they give me an angle, which is nice. So I don't know this um, perpendicular uh, distance. All right, I see. I know a force, but what's what is my perpendicular distance? It's the only unknown that I'm seeing so far. So I'm just going to say over here, the sum of the moment about O is equal to, well, what's my force? Um, I got a hundred pounds, all right. Okay, but what's, um, but that's at an angle, right? So how do I know my, uh, or it's not, it's, how do I get my distance? Is that the main thing? How do I get my perpendicular distance? Well, um, I'm going to say that I know, so if we're just drawing this here, we're looking for this distance here. All right, they give us that this is 24 inches, all right? So how do I get, and um, we got our, force of a hundred, all right? But how do I get this distance? And so most of the time, the only way that you can get that distance is by, um, you know, using um, Sokotoa or your, you know, sine, cosine, whatever to get uh, this horizontal distance. So in this case, to get um, a horizontal, they give us the 24 inches, all right? So we got 24 inches. And then if we do sine, that's gonna give us opposite over hypotenuse. And if we do a cosine, that's gonna give us this D. So, um, or our adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cosine of 60, kind of messed that up, but 24 cosine 60 will give us uh, that, that distance that we need. So we'll just come over here, say 24. Please don't mind my handwriting. Cosine. 60 is equal to um, our moment about O. So let's put that in our calculator and see what we get. So 100 times cosine of 60. Okay, so I get from my moment about O, oh, a uh, 1,200, and that is pound dash inches. Okay, so that is uh, the first part of this problem. Part A, found our moment. So remember, uh, for moment, it's always going to be force times distance. But you can't just, uh, we couldn't have just used 100 um, pounds times uh, 24 inches because that's not perpendicular to this force. The, 
the force that would be perpendicular, um, I meant the distance that would be perpendicular to this force is 24 inches and then uh, cosine 60. So that's why that was a little bit more than it probably needed to be. Um, yeah, so not super complicated, but important to know your um, sine and cosines and how to get um, your distances per that are perpendicular to your force. Okay, so find them some value out of this video. Uh, please make sure you like it, leave questions if you have them, and subscribe to the channel. All right, um, part B. The horizontal force at A, which creates the same moment. Okay, so we know our moment, all right, is 1,200 pound inches. But at A, what is a horizontal force that is going to create that same moment? Okay. So let's just look at, I'm just going to draw. This is A, all right. And we're this is the force that we're creating. Question mark that is going to create uh, the same moment. So um, we all know that moment is equal to, and this might help. So we still have, this is 60 degrees. All right. This is the same. And this is, oh. Okay, so that's point O, and this is uh, point A, and we're just taking a horizontal. Uh, there we're get we're getting a we're taking a horizontal force at point A, and we're gonna try to create the same moment that we created or uh, that we have at O. All right, so I know that moment any time at any given point moment is equal to. Uh, I'm sorry, getting carried away. <laughs> Moment is equal to force times distance. All right. Okay. So we don't know our force. We do know. So we know our moment. All right. We don't know our force. Do we know our distance? All right, do we know our distance? Well, I know that um, they give us this to be 24 inches. And I know that if that's my horizontal force, then I know my uh, distance has to be perpendicular to that force, right? And what's perpendicular to my force? Um, well, instead of, this is just a Y value. I know that I can take 24 sine of 60 and get my um, distance that is perpendicular to the force that I'm trying to find. So that equals my uh, Y value. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. All right, they're, they're wanting, they're asking for a force perpendicular I mean, a force that is horizontal at A. Um, 
And in order to for the for that to equal the total moment, um, you have to find a distance that's perpendicular to that horizontal force. And so in this case, they give us everything we need to get that perpendicular distance. So 24 sine 60. Okay. So I get 20 point seven eight as my um, distance or my Y. Okay, so I know that my moment is equal to. So here's here's basically what I did because this may seem a little confusing. So I know that my moment is 1,200 pound inches at O. I don't know my force. We're, we're trying to find that horizontal force. Um, and, but I do know my perpendicular distance. So which is Y, which is this up and down distance there. So now I have uh, just one unknown and I can solve solve for it. So that's, I'm just plugging and chugging at this point. So I'll write it out so that it's clear. So 1,200 pound inches is equal to, and this is important, this is um, inches, right? Everything has units. Um, I should have put that on there. <laughs> 1,200 pound inches is equal to my force times 20.78 inches. All right. Uh, we divide on both sides. Um, the inches will cancel out and we'll be left with pounds. So 1,200 divided by 20.78, which gives us um, our 50, 57.74 pounds is equal to my force. So if I put a horizontal force of 57, uh, point seven four pounds horizontally, it will give me um, the same moment as my hundred pound in the um, my hundred pound force coming down. So hopefully this made sense. Um, a lot of moving pieces, a lot of. Uh, kind of sine and cosine once you understand you know the values and that moment is force times distance um, you're you'll be good so like i said hopefully this was helpful um and in the next video i am going to go ahead and cover uh equilibrium equilibrium of rigid bodies so be sure to stick around for that video. I appreciate you all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.